Hi there, folks. Well, it's been a while since I've posted a video, so I thought I'd uh, thought I'd do a little one for you here. We're coming to you today from Cochise Stronghold in the Dragoon Mountains uh, down in southern Arizona, just north of Bisbee and Tombstone. We're out here doing a little camping. Nice place out here. Got some trees. We're surrounded by the Dragoon Mountains out here. This is Cochise country out here. This is where he and his boys used to hang out here in in these mountains. Monolithic rocks over there on that hill predominant in this area. So this is a really nice little place. There's a little creek right on down the way a little ways there. Uh, we're going to walk down there a little bit later. But while, uh, while I got you here, let me show you a few of the things we've done to the van since last time we spoke. All right. Well, what I did was I, uh, I went ahead and got me a sheet of plywood. And I had the people, good people at Lowe's Lumber Yard cut it up for us. And then I sat out in the forest and assembled it. So what we have here, you'll have to pardon the mess since we're camping. Say hi, Bendy. There's Bendy laying there. Margie up front reading. Okay, what we did was I went ahead and built this little kitchen unit here. Uh, I like using this tray right here because that way if I uh, dribble a little bit when I'm making my coffee, it doesn't run all over the place. Got the single burner stove here. I didn't want to screw it down because I like to take it outside every once in a while and cook, so I use a little bungee cord on it. I got a piece of stainless steel under there. Even though it doesn't get hot underneath there, I just want a little extra protection. Um, now, I kept this cabinet built out from the wall just a little bit so I can put my uh, my folding table back there and I slide my water container. Here's the water storage under here. Slide that back against there. It doesn't rattle around. Uh, we've got some little drawer units down here on the shelf. Okay. So we got silverware and such as that down here. And I keep some pans in here and my coffee stuff. So, uh, but I uh, use a bungee cord across here to hold it in place, keep the stuff from falling out. Later on, I'll put some doors and shelves on. But for right now, we're using these totes for our, uh, for our food, okay? And I got tired of having to slide these out to unsnap the lids. So what I did, so that these will slide right off, I took and cut this lip off of here. Just on this back side of this where it goes around, I just cut that, that off of there. And that way it'll set right on there and slide right into place and the front still locks down. Okay, and we got another tote back here for more food. Uh, the cooler, I took and wrapped it with Reflectix, which extended the life of our ice by nearly twice. And uh, there's a piece of closed cell foam on the bottom for insula extra insulation. Uh, we use block ice, and uh, when, you know, whenever we can find it, which is most often, especially down here in Arizona, we, people use it. I put a pad on top, I put some cushion on top, and a, a piece of vinyl that I had, so it makes a nice little table, or a, a seat, rather, excuse me. But uh, I think I had built the bed as last time we talked. But anyway, we've got our double bed in here. Now, the same piece of plywood that, that I cut the kitchen out of here, uh, that all of that's done with, and all this is screwed down. But uh, same piece of plywood, I was able to get a set of shelves out of it that, that's back there. Uh, so... There's there's clothing store. My clothing storage is in there. Margie's got a set of drawers in the back, and uh, we've got a place underneath back there for the linens and towels, and our computer cases can go down under there. 
I'm on medical oxygen, as you know, so uh, this is my little backpack that I carry around uh, right here. And then back here, I've got a larger bottle installed uh, with a long hose on it that I can even take outside and sit around uh, out there, you know, when we're up in the altitudes and I need a little extra oxygen. So, <clears throat> and of course, back behind the bed back there, there's a storage area back there and a place where our potty goes and all of that. So, uh, so that's that's about what we've done uh, since last time we talked, I guess. And uh, I think I had the carpet down before. We got the gray carpet down. And this little unit right here, little set of, uh, little bag sort of thing. It's a hanging deal, holds our shower shoes and such. Uh, right here, I built a table. I built a table uh, out of a... One of those Rubbermaid uh, uh, cutting boards that I had. I put a snap down there, and with a piece of uh, PVC tubing, uh, there's a little piece of hardware right down there, and a little piece of hardware right there, and we have a table. I can use it outdoors, or I can close the door, and it'll... Uh, I can use it indoors as well. Okay, so, and I think I had coated the roof before with the, uh, I think we talked about that. I put roof white, that snow cap stuff up there for some extra reflectiveness uh, because we had some rust on the top. I put a rack up, but I haven't installed the solar panels up there yet. I need to borrow a ladder from somebody. So in the meantime, I put some panels out on the ground, portable. But anyhow, we're uh, we're just uh, just north of Bisbee and Tombstone, Arizona, and we'll be going back down. We were in Bisbee and and uh, we're just north of there, and we're going to be uh, going back down into Bisbee to visit some friends down there. Uh, before we shoot into Tucson for our uh, medical, and uh, then, uh, oh, in the last part of January, we'll be going to Quartzsite again for the RTR, the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, so we hope to see some of you all out there for that. I believe that's uh, going to be the 19th again this year, but... Uh, so we we hope to we hope to see some of our van dweller friends down that way. Uh, we've met quite a few people in our travels this summer. We were up in Colorado and met some of the folks up there. Uh, give a shout out here to Samir, who we met in uh, Cortez, Colorado, and did some camping with him over at uh, uh, at one of the forests over near there, and. Uh, over at Dolores. There's some beautiful camping up, up at Dolores. Uh, beautiful area up there in the San Juan uh, forest. But anyhow, uh, this is what we've gotten done so far and a few more improvements to come uh, while we're up in Tucson taking care of medical at the VA and all of that next month. So we'll... Uh, We'll bring you some more videos as we keep traveling here. Uh, sorry it's been so long since I posted one, but boy, I'll tell you what, we've been out just having fun with the van. Uh, we're really enjoying it. Uh, uh, we don't miss the RV. Uh, the van has just done us great. So we're going to let you go for now. And uh, we hope you'll follow us on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and and uh, see where we go next. We'll catch you later. Y'all take care and be safe out there. Bye-bye.